Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Mr. Sharath Khan. <laughs> My question is for Kajal and Shah Rukh Khan. If Gurren was to make a film about your life, besides yourself being in the film, who would you like to see playing a younger and an older Shah Rukh Khan and a Kajal? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I think uh, I'm young enough to play the younger Shah Rukh Khan. I don't think I'd like him to make a story about my life. I'm too boring. No, why I really am. And end up nice and shorts and all schools. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kajal's life, you want to make a story if I go about? I want somebody yeah. to see that. Shahrukh, I would, I would say that Shahrukh and Gauri's love story is really the most Hindi picture love story. Oh. We're glad that you glad that you brought it out. You're going to have to tell us. Truly, it's the film I will make and direct. I will call it Shahrukh and Gauri, and it will be a huge hit. Because it has everything. It has love, it has passion, it has parental rejection, it has triumph eventually. Drama and and it has love. drama and it... And tell us a bit about the drama. Tell us a bit about the drama. What <laughs> kind of drama goes on? Oh, well, you know, Shahrukh, I, Gauri would kill us for even going there because he, <laughs> I, think, I think Shahrukh has told his love story. But truly, if you hear the love story, and I hope one day when you, Shahrukh's book comes out, you read it, uh -huh. and you have to, I have to tell you, it's the one most brilliant love story you can ever imagine. And I think the love story continues even today. Aww. Um, my question is for Kajal. Um, I know you're such a glamorous, talented actress, but how difficult has it been to, um, to just incorporate your marriage lifestyle into, into your acting career? Because they say that after marriage, an Indian actress's um, career is totally gone, but you have really shown that you can cope with both at the same time. You know, I think that's a preconceived notion that people have and that people have spoken about. But, I mean, before me, you had Sharmila Tagore, you had Saira Banu, you had all these women who worked so well and so happily after they got married as well. So, I mean, it was, it's just that myth that people have in their heads that, oh, my God, she's married now, and, oh, my God, she can't act anymore. Why? <laughs> Did anybody say that? Don't you think it's a bit unfair because, um, I mean, Sharik, when you entered the industry, you were already married, were you? Yeah! I mean, look at him! <laughs> he managed He's fine! Gonna... <laughs> and, I, and I can act a bit, yeah. <laughs> um, well, sorry, can I just elaborate on my question? Why do you think that this myth has ar arised? Uh, well, I think it's because... Uh, I, I think it's because of society, per se, because they have this label that they put on women who are married. I think it's because of society pressure, really, that you expect the woman to conform to a certain standard. You expect her to give up her entire life, her home, and everything, and, you know, shift over to the man's home or whatever, take his name, and, uh, you know, give up everything that she was before and take on a completely different identity. And that identity does not involve anything that you did before. And I think it's very sad, but the point is that in today's 21st century or 22nd century or whatever, I don't think that that applies. I don't think that applies anymore. And I think that each person is an individual. And uh, your individuality is what the guy married you for. So don't give it up. <laughs> <laughs>